I'm Tom McMillan, pastor at John Knox Presbyterian Church. On Mondays, we're doing the rest of the story, which is kind of a follow-up on what we talked about on Sunday morning in worship. And I talked about a story from Alaska, about a guide that we had for this wilderness experience, and I respected the way that he took care of our team and equipped us for the journey. And I wondered, how is it that Jesus has equipped us as well for the journey of life and the challenges that we face? What are we able to draw from to find guidance and strength or wisdom? And I, I keep going back to the image of peace that Jesus provides us with. He said that my peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. So do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. You know, we're, we're on the edge of Christmas Day and there may be just kind of a, a whole lot that's on our minds. But every now and then you get a Christmas card and just the words in it orient you or you at night you're driving and you see Christmas lights that are illuminating the darkness and it somehow fills you with a sense of maybe nostalgia, maybe peace. And uh, there are all kinds of ways that the peace of Christ becomes present for us if we would but breathe and allow it to come as a gift to settle the soul and to orient the mind and to calm some of the anxieties and the worries and to trust that the Savior of the world is with us. And he is the one who fulfilled the prophecy from Isaiah. Isaiah said, a son shall be given to you, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. So let this prince of peace, the Savior of the world, provide you with a gift of peace, not just for you to receive into your own life, but then also to share with people around you, in your family, with your neighbors. Your prayers for peace in our world become real significant. Offer peace to someone. Say, the peace of Christ be with you. And as you offer it, let it be this genuine, heartfelt prayer that they would experience peace that you have sensed as gift from God. Remember, you're not alone. God cares for you, and so do we.